Check this one out, boys. Wild Badger. This 40 volt chainsaw weighs 11 pounds, has auto lubrication, 32.2 inches long, 8.9 inches wide, and 7 inches high. It's claimed to be equivalent to 1.5 horsepower or 36 cc that's gas powered. Has a 7500 RPM brushless motor, which is 50 feet per second chain speed. They claim 200 cuts per charge. It is 102 decibels. The motor automatically adjusts for the load and the size of the piece of wood that you're cutting. And it's got a 16 inch bar. Badger has over 85 other tools that are battery powered. This comes with a 30 day warranty from Amazon and a three year warranty from the manufacturer. Wild Badger power. There's the chain. Pretty big 40 volt, 4 amp hour battery. Things nice, good size. And a charger, which is a 42 volt, 1 amp. 4 hours, if my calculations are correct. Comes with the user's manual and the battery manual in different languages. Customer support. It's plastic, but it's actually a pretty thick plastic. Like it's not flimsy at all. Seems pretty pretty rugged. Plug it in, let the battery charge up while we're assembling that chainsaw. Flashing green, it's charging. Solid green when it's full. Flashing red when there's a fault. And solid red if it's overheated. It is a lithium ion battery. It does have a roller tip bar. Take our tool out. That's what she said. There's the adjuster. Here's where the oil is going to come out. To drive for the chain. Put our chain on there. Where the blade is pulling in from the bottom, of course. Back that tensioner up. Notice it has a nice rubber oil seal on that for the bar. And this bar is reversible. Drop that in that hole. Make sure your chain's in the groove. Put that cover back on. Put your nuts back on. Leave them a little loose so we can adjust the chain tension. That's a bit much. A little more. That's pretty good. I always pull up on a chain and tighten those nuts. And that should be about right. They say about three millimeters. Let's fill up the oil reservoir with some bar oil. We'll use the old Super Tech. I think you're supposed to fill it up to that little narrow spot. Put our handy tool back in there. Wait for the oil to come out here. That's how you can tell your oil is working properly. This little bit should sling off that blade. Here's the specifications on it. It does have a chain brake. That chain will not move when that brake is on. And it also cuts the motor. We're all charged up, so let's bring this out in the woods and see how it cuts. tree was knocked down by the hurricane. Let's see how this chainsaw does on this tree. Try to get some of the sand off there. It's going to dull the blade. It's got about a one second pause when you pull the trigger. Definitely wear safety glasses and safety equipment. I'm gonna come back with my tractor later and clean this up. Hmm. Stalled it.
cuts pretty good. You can bog it down. Lost a little tension. It does cut pretty good if you don't bog the blade down. Let the blade just do the cutting. Use one bar battery. Let's do it right off the stump. It's a nice big fat piece. I don't like all that sand. Not bad. It's nice and light too. I think the only thing I don't like is that one second pause when you pull the trigger. It's probably a safety thing. But as long as you don't push it and you let that blade do the cutting, it'll cut. I'd say it's equivalent to a 36cc gas powered chainsaw. Only use one bar battery too. It's probably a 6 inch log. Up there it's about 10. I found another tree I want to get out. Limb actually. This is the limb that bent up the cage on my Polaris Ranger. Remember that? Chain loosen up a bit. Or tighten that before I lose it. See how much oil's left. <laughs> Quite a bit. Let's tighten her up. You should definitely take the battery out or at least lock that. A little more. Add more. This should do it. It does have a nice tensioning mechanism. I think that's about it right now. I didn't lose any trees during the storm except that one I cut up. And that's on one of my lots that doesn't have anything on it. Nice little saw. Good home saw. Let's see how much batteries left. Hmm, only use one bar. I probably did a total of 20 minutes cutting, so that's not too bad. If you're interested in one, I'll have the links down below. And as usual, thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.